we start the day off at the HQ of Veloce to pick up a suit and a seat. The doorbell as well. Hi, Katie. Right, who's going to open the door? That's the question. Hello, hello. Morning. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Mate, you're a mess. He's <laughs> <laughs> even wearing socks. That's not going to fit. It is going to fit. That window there. It is going to fit. I don't know if I can lift it in, but I need your help. Is that? <laughs> If you get the back, I'll get the front, and I'll just kind of walk it in. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should. Have. <laughs> That's not gonna fit. We might have to get to the bottom to put it in the position. Now we're doing boot. It's not going well. Two thousand years later. Cheers. That's fun. Jamie said the box is really small. <laughs> no. Big baby. Alright, where are we going, James? Buckmore Park Kart Circuit for the 24 hour kart race. And we're driving for WTF1, which is going to be pretty cool, isn't it? Do you agree? Yep. <laughs> Very cool. Struggling here. <laughs> Can you hold the front? Oh, what, what, for the whole journey? Yeah, because the battery case is too heavy for that to hold it. But did you just use my phone? Yeah. Just arrived a little bit late, no one's going to know though, and we've got some kinos practicing on the track at the moment, it's a little bit damp, it's really cold, really wet, and the 24 hours ahead looks a bit, yeah, a bit yeah, you know what I mean. So I think the carts are just the standard rental ones in the area of Buckmore, the four stroke ones, I think one, two, five, six, eight. it's going to be good fun, I'm really looking forward to this actually. Driver's briefing's about to get underway, we're walking over to it. In our team, we have myself, Tim McMardock, Jimmy Broadbent, uh, Super GT, Steve Brown, JD or Veloce, uh, Veloce Limitless, uh, TRL Limitless, and Alex Gillen, as well as Tom from WTF1. So, yeah, it's going to be a, a mad lineup. Uh, maybe not blessed with quality, but definitely blessed with personality. So uh, let's see how it goes. I mean, a, a win is a very, very long shot, but I think a podium has got to be a realistic target. I mean, there's been some people here practicing last night. Let's just have some fun. How could I forget my fellow Veloce Esports teammate, Sonic Sautung? Not gonna lie, I was not expecting this. I was expecting to turn up and it would be empty, but everyone's rocking motorhomes, awnings, vans, you know, got sofas over there, little barbecues on the go, and we've just turned up in a thing like that. Yeah, we're not really ready for this, are we? No. First drivers for the practice make their way into the pit lane, please. First drivers for the practice make their way into the pit lane. <laughs> First drivers are going out now, and we're a bit behind, so I left my suit on the other side. So, I'm a little bit overdressed actually. It's upside down. <laughs> I hate your honesty. <laughs> Over the sponsors. <laughs> Just below. Oh dear. Sorry, Logitech. <laughs> Sun is coming up. Are you ready to go? We can take a ride. We can take it slow. Your will is my law. I'm a legend.
let you be the part. Do you want the sexy? So sexy. <laughs> well, take you to a place we can see it all. Step off the edge, I can break your fall. Yeah. With this, my law, I'ma let you be the boss. Cause I'll go with you, go. When you fall down, I'll get you back up again. The things you try, I think that you won't regret. We are kings of the world. Tonight is Pretty awful. I've been reduced to fifth board man, what do you call him? The uh Marshall? <laughs> pit board man, I'm now the pit board man. It's obviously I was too rubbish to make it as a driver, so Yeah. JD's out for quality at the moment and where is he? He's not in the top five. Two hours later, done my stint, and it feels pretty good. I'm not too bad, I'm a bit cold, very hungry. And we're currently, well I came in in P3, so we obviously dropped back a bit. I think we're running in P8 at the moment. So I think overall we're P3, which is good. I think the aim is a podium. The guys in the lead, apparently they come every week and they're, you know, they're regulars, but they're really fast. So we don't really have a chance unless they have a mechanical issue or something like that. So at the moment, I am gonna head back, gonna get some food, nice shower. My next stint will be during the night. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna be even colder and even wetter probably. So let's look forward to that. Right then, 1 a.m. Had a shower, had some food, had a nice rest, but now it's time to get back to business and win the 24 hour race. Yeah, I couldn't really help myself really. I was driving down 80 miles. I had to stop somewhere. Costa drive through Large hot chocolate, marshmallows and cream. Best £4.30 I've ever spent. Um, obviously not. Sorry mate, it's a mistake. What happened lads? What happened? Explain. Uh, mate, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's half on us. Uh, well, imagine us really. We thought, uh, I thought it was good to do another 15 minutes. We do two hours and we're going to take off like two and a half hours, but two hours is quite demanding. So you're walking down there? So we're walking down at two um, to do the driver's stop at 2.15 and we see, look at the exit, which means that he's come in for the two hours and he's uh. wondering what's going on. So we were leading. Uh, we're now, with, I'm not sure where we are now, probably, probably behind by about a lap or so. But we'll, we'll be in second still, but yeah, he's gone. It's all good though, it's all good. We're not even half, we're just about halfway. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I've been home, had a sleep. Have you? Yeah. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been awake the whole time? Yes. <laughs> you couldn't tell me, you look fresh as a daisy. Right, well, Alex Gillen's out in the car at the moment. 
and we've got about 11 hours to go. Seems to be relatively on the pace. Jimmy Broadbent's going out after, followed by Tommy WTF1, and then me. So, looking at about 5 a.m., I'm going out. 75 minute stints we're going for now. We think that's like the best because it's dry, it's more physical, and yeah, yeah, I did a two hour stint earlier, but it was wet, so it's a lot calmer and you physically can last the distance. So, directly half an hour before I go out, I've got this bad boy ready. So. So Jimmy Broadbent, top YouTuber, you got out of the track, but have you left your car unlocked? No you haven't, but you left the light on so the battery's going to die when you get back. Getting tired now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, two hours, hour and fifty, two hours stint, and uh, what time is it? It's 7.50 in the morning now. So we've only got six hours left of the race. I feel dead. I feel like this is the end of my life. Like, <laughs> bloody hell. I don't know, just all this lack of sleep, etc., is catching up with me. Um, anyway, on to business. We're running P2 in class, in the Clubman class. We're about two laps or three laps off the lead in Clubman. We're catching them at a good rate of knots. We've adjusted our strategy, so now me, Sonich, and JD, Limitless, are going to be doing the final few stints. So Ben's out there at the moment until uh, JD gets to the track. Uh, we're going for, yeah, we're going to gun it. I've just got faster slap as well, which is quite nice for me. But we're going to gun it till the end, and hopefully we can get P1. And uh, yeah, maybe some champagne might go down well and recover me for the journey back. Yeah, it was a good stint. Uh, the lead car, the overall leader in the pro class, I was sticking with him and catching him very, very slowly uh, over the two hours. So my pace was really good. Um, and weight is a really, really big thing around here. Like the guy who's got the fastest lap, there's a rumor that he, I got told he was 39 kilos in weight, which is effectively the weight of my leg. So you, you can't really compete with that, you know? So gonna get some kit and then two hours time I'll be back out I think for the final stint so we'll gun it till the end and now it's pretty much spin central and we've got about two and a half hours two hours 45 minutes left Sonic has just spun over there he's got about 15 minutes left and then I'm finishing the race with a massive two and a half two hours 15 minutes stint so the gap, to the, the gap between first and second in the Clubman class at the moment is 1.8 seconds. So we both have to make a pit stop. So it's down to me. Woo! Um, yeah, really good progress. There he there is. He is. Um, as he's going around, we'll keep it. Well, let's watch him for a lap. Let's see what he can do for a lap. Um, you know, as they go around into Hepin 1. Got a nice oh, line there, someone's been behind. <laughs> uh, into, oh, and he's watching behind, so who was yeah, that? Checking. Uh, into the, look at the lock he's putting on. He See how long yeah. he was on full lock. The car's just understeering straight on. There we go, but great control as he's gone through now five and six. It's a uh, very fast she came when it's dry, of course, flat out. And there's, there's the, the replay. Lock. Look at the lock he's got there. And it just straight lines for about a, a good second. Yeah, and well, then suddenly grips, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I think it's working for him though, because look, as he comes into here, it'll go on to full lock there. It's a very quick turn onto full lock. Yeah. Until the cart responds and then he controls it. Let's see what he does into Carter. You'll see him just flick it, look. Oh, I've yeah. done the inside, so he, he sort of controls it a bit better. He's a bit more gentle with it, but then we'll see, it, see him do it again. There, yeah, look, he's just yeah. launching it it's onto full lock and then uh, yeah, taking care of the rest of it on the throttle. But he knows what he's doing, does James? So I you'll see be it again there through uh, <laughs> yeah. Cafe Curve, yeah, just full lock. So you'll, you'll be seeing him control it more on the throttle and moderate the throttle yes. brakes around the corners. So yeah, um, it's, it's working for him at the end of the day. Um, okay, full he's lock down the inside at the number 16. Doesn't quite one, get it. No, so the 16 having the outside line, obviously that is the faster line in the wet conditions. Um, but uh, not managing to get the power on as one of the cuts goes off wide there. He was three seconds, 3.1 seconds faster on that last lap than Team CMF had him. So 
do it 10 laps, that's half a minute, and that's nearly an entire lap. Yeah, exactly. So so. I think it's the 18. I think it's the 18. Is that Misfit Mafia? It is. There we go. Oh, and he spins. Oh. James spins. Oh, dear me. We've been talking about how much car control he's got to get. Oh. We need to stop talking about him. Yeah. Uh, there we go. There's a replay. Oh, oh yeah. Just, just it puts the lock yeah. on, but then it just it grabs earlier than he expected. Mm, it grabbed yeah. earlier than he expected, and the back just went out. Interesting thing to note about that is that the last time he went round Garden, he was on the inside line because he was overtaking someone. Obviously, he's on the more grippier outside line that time. Around, yes. Yeah. 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 And I don't it. think he was ready for it. Yeah. So no. Uh, How many spins? <laughs> Jimmy, on a scale of 1 to 10, how tired are you? Uh, I'm very accurate. I mean, I kind of feel like I'm just being powered by like random things within me right now. Like how many people in my brain? See, he's not even making any sense anymore. That's how tired the man is. Carting on a budget. Right. Thank you, mate. <laughs> How many you got? Six. 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 Done. Oh. Oh, there's six trophies in it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy <laughs> days, mate. Yep. <laughs> Do you want to scoot up a little bit? A lot of there. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, nice smiles. Here we go, and one more. Well done, thank you very much. Well done to your club. Well, we did it. P1. And that was a really good, really good 24 hours. Uh, there were moments where you thought she was throwing the towel, but at the end of it, it's all worth it. Good fun. Uh, did throwing the towel 30 minutes to go I was a bit tired so I handed her over to Sonic. Um I literally couldn't see anything bursting for a toilet and yeah um, thank you to everyone at WTF1 including this You're man welcome. it was a really good event so there you go that is that blood sweat and tears a gruelling 24 hours that resulted in a nice victory which is what we wanted I got to meet some really, really cool people I thought I'd never meet or be like talking to on a friendly basis, massive YouTubers. If you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel. There's going to be more stuff like this coming your way. But until the next time, see you soon.